everyone! Oh my god, it's been ages. Here is Nova. She wants to say hi. Not really, she wants to play. But <laughs> say hi, Nova. Say hi, everyone. She's my little girl. She's such a good girl. She's a very feisty little divotchka. But she's a good girl. And um, today I'm doing a different kind of unboxing. I actually ordered this like really old style like an old model of bag i had a very similar bag it was basically like the same bag but smaller and um i had it when i was really young and it's by franco sato and it was one of my favorite bags ever especially at that time and I like missed it, you know, some, and I actually repurchased this bag like twice now. I sold the other one, I regretted selling it. And then I wanted the same one, like the black version with the pink interior, but I couldn't find it. So I found a pink version with the green interior. We are going to unbox this right now. Oh my God, this is so cute. It's smaller than I thought because the one I used to have, the one I used to have was smaller though. He made this bag, Franco Sato, the designer, in a whole bunch of different colors, different shapes and sizes. This one is more like a duffel size. The one I used to have was like a proper traditional handbag and it was like wedge shaped. It was so cute. It had three snap buttons, like um, pocket button pockets like you know snap button closure on the front and um, mine was pink with pink interior but originally I wanted a black one with the pink interior but my best friend had gotten it at the time she also liked it and I didn't have money at the time but whatever um I always look out for it because I really want that version of it but this I got it so cheap and it's like in practically brand new condition you look you guys it's like basically nowhere at all you can see the leather pieces, like all fantastic condition. There's like no pilling or any of that. And I love the different color interiors. Not all the bags have different color interiors. Some have like the same color interior. Like I told you, I had a pink version of this bag and it was smaller with just pink interior. And it always was just like, oh, it's pink on the outside and the inside. It's just like, oh. But this is cool. I've been looking for like a utility bag, just you know every day whatever um i was looking for a dance bag but i this is actually too small to be a dance bag unless i just like for classes if i take like more flamenco classes is fine but like actual gig bag this is too small um to do gigs but the reason like a big part of the reason why i love this these like models of bags are the interior organizational compartments i have never seen another brand do quite the same thing as these look at this and i get tired of bag organizers you guys even though you know bag organizers have a time and a place and a purpose sometimes i just don't like them because they do take up space and they do add weight to the bag and sometimes i just love just the organization inside so we're gonna get to it look at this you've got these side pockets and these really cool like side pockets look at that vertical pocket really cool snap closure it's like quite it's like a drug pocket even though i don't do drugs it's like oh you could stash your stuff in here isn't it <laughs> just joking i would i would put my snacks in here or something but it's cool how it snaps up like this it's kind of security um and then you've got these two smaller zipped compartments i really like bright colored interior because it allows you to see your stuff better if it's black it's it's hard to see your stuff especially at night time then you have this other pocket look it's like a flat pocket that also snaps up on on the other side what so cheeky even though she's seven years old she does things that she did when she was a puppy and i love it you look how cute you are are you going to release that, that paper in your mouth <laughs> i love you you're so cute she, she still loves it she's still what happened 
What happened? she likes the taste of the paper. She keeps like chewing it and then she's like, ugh. <laughs> Does it taste nasty? Yucky? Do you like the taste of the paper? It's okay. Okay, well that was fun. <laughs> um, so, so it's got all these inside pockets. Okay, so we went through four of them. We're still not done. So one, two, three, four. And then we've got two slip compartments. So five, six, and then a smaller zip compartment at the back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven interior compartments. Like that's so much. And then we have two exterior snap, like magnetic snap compartments, which I absolutely love. It's just such a cute like utility bag, just, you know, I just think it's bright and I really, really like it. So, and you can, you can change the length a bit with these buckle chaps. So, and they are double, they're very, very strong. So, the black one I had was actually slightly larger and it was more of a wedge shape. I do prefer the wedge shape, but this is really cute and I got it for like $8 and Considering when these first came out, they were a good $50, $60. Like, they were not cheap, especially for a teenager. So, um, I'm really happy to get my hands on one of these. A quality bag. You've got this, like, chap here to hold on to when you, when you zip open and close the bag. And that's, that's that. That's my cool bag. I've recommended these before. They're very comfortable, too. They've got these, like, thick but soft like canvas handles and they're like rolled so it's easy to carry whether you're carrying it in your hand, the crook of the arm or like over the shoulder and it's like a good medium size bag. It's like a baguette kind of shape, isn't it? It's more long than it is tall and it's just it's so vintage, it's so edgy. I'm so edgy and vintage. And it's got these like cute rainbow stripes at the side, the vintagey kind of look. And it's got these like two feet, even though they probably don't do anything, but you can just tell like how well made this bag is. Like the stitching, the quality, it's just impeccable. This is just the Franco Sato nylon bag. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you for joining me on my unboxing of vintage bag video. And I will be making more videos soon. And I hope you all take care. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.